Welcome back to Built From The Bomb, guys. Today we're gonna to be working on a bike that I haven't shown on the channel in quite some time. It is the 2006 CBR1000, and I have a whole bunch of stuff over here going on with it. Let's show you what's going on. So this bike kind of been forgotten about for quite some time, just because I was gonna leave the tank that's on underneath in it, and I wasn't feeling too good about that. And I was like, ah. And then I was gonna leave this radiator that I have uh, this is the radiator that came with it and I was like uh, do I really want to like be cheap and not spend like a hundred dollars for a new radiator and then like 150 for a new tank I was just like all right whatever like I'm just gonna uh, get the right parts and yeah so in this video I'm gonna be trying to square away the most of everything with this bike so I have a new radiator for it and I'll show you the tank that we were working with underneath this we're gonna install the new tank I installed let's see. So this is the tank that I put on it. It was better than the one that came with the bike. But this tank has a big dent right here and then these are bent, uh, not right. So this tank doesn't really sit properly inside this bike. So I got a new one sitting over there. Also, I got levers for it because it needs levers and grips. And yeah, I got a battery too in this box. So we're gonna just start putting everything on. I gotta wire up the rear tail light. I'm gonna sand down these covers I got Dremel pieces to sand this completely down and get this uh, looking really nice. So I did this off camera, but I put these new radiator hoses on. And I think once I paint these black and have them looking really nice, uh, a little accent like that, I think it's $40 for those hoses. will make this bike look way better. So we're going to get right into uh, putting this new tank on. So I got that tank off and I had no idea what I was doing thinking I was going to run this tank. Like this is all bent up and then this is pushed in. This is the new tank right here. So this came with actually the gas cap with a key and the key to the rear tail. So I might, and this is a Honda key. It's not the no name key that I had on that tank. So I might actually just take this ignition off because this is Honda and have it repinned so then all the keys match on it. Uh, so And it's all like OEM Honda stuff. Also um, this tank came with like the... Uh, the hardware which is nice and it came with this fuel pump and if this works because I paid like a hundred dollars for the fuel pump on this tank and if this one works like I'll be able to sell that thing for like a hundred bucks and I don't know I guess this new tank will be pretty much free for this bike so I'm gonna switch over what I need to and then mount this thing up and see if the fuel pump works All right, so we got gas leaking out there because I put the ignition on. I uh, just kind of set this battery in here. And let's see, show you guys what's going on. Listen to this. Oh, so the fuel pump works in that. So that means I pretty much got this tank for free because I think I paid like 120 for it with shipping. And I paid 100 for that fuel pump uh, with the whole assembly. So I'm just gonna take that off, list it on eBay, and then we're golden. So now I just need to mount it completely up, put the fuel line on it. Ooh, that gas looks bad. I need to clean that up and um, yeah, we'll put the cover on this thing and she's rocking and rolling. Oh yeah, we're in business with this tank. So when I had this old tank on it, the fairings like flared out here on the sides and they weren't sitting flush and I was really concerned about that because it just offsets all the alignment on the bike. It makes it look kind of weird. But you can see with these, they're sitting nice and flush and everything's lined up pretty solid. All this like matches up with the steering stabilizer. Um, this always looks pretty solid. What I'm gonna do now is actually pull off the cooling fan off of this radiator because that thing's going in the trash and then I got this brand new radiator right here. So when I bought this bike I got a whole bunch of like just parts in a box and that's actually not the right radiator for this bike since this is an 06. That's an 0405 radiator and then this is an 0607 radiator. It's a little bit shorter. You see right there at the bottom and the mounting point for the reservoir is right here instead of on this bracket. So let's pull that thing off and mount it up to the bike. So 
I knew there was gonna have to be something. So this radiator, the brackets are a little bit different than this one. And I'm not, I'm trying to make some headway on this build. So I'm just gonna cut this piece right here. I tried bending it and I got it to fit in there, but when you push this down, uh, the fan ends up hitting this piece right here. So I'm just gonna cut it right there. It's pretty sturdy. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have to go get a different fan for it. Just cut it right there and mount this thing up. Just got this radiator on right there and this thing looks way better than the old one. I didn't show much of the old one, but this old one, it would have worked, but it was for 0405 and like, just look at this. This is just so ugly. Got this nice fresh one in. We got our G plus lines on this thing. It looks pretty solid. It doesn't really do anything performance wise, but looks way cooler. You just got one down here, mounted all up. Now, um, what I did on the other side is I pulled out this frame bolt because it, you see on this side there's frame sliders on these bolts and they hang out pretty far and the fairings don't like to sit flush on it so what I got to go do in the morning is uh, go get this hardware uh, but shorter I think this is like an inch and a half so I can mount those on so the side fairings fit nice what I'm gonna do now is figure out um, how exactly this wiring sits inside the rear then wire up this tail light and the rear section will be good. I'll be able to mount the seat down. Just got all of this done right here. The battery is in place, it's all good. I had to look at the diagram off of Honda to see exactly how these wires were supposed to uh, sit. For some reason, I thought this was supposed to go over here. I switched the key over to the OEM Honda one that matches this tank, and then, like I said, gotta get that one re-keyed uh, re so it matches these two. That's the easiest way to do it. And that's all good. And then over here, I wired up this tail light. See, it's working good. I had to hardwire the turn signal connections on it, so I just ended up wrapping the whole thing in electrical tape. Now I'm just gonna put this on right there, and then the whole rear section of this bike is gonna be done. So everything from you know here up to the front is pretty solid. You know, we got the battery in, so we got some gauge cluster action now. So let's get this all buttoned up right here. I'll probably put the seat in, and we're good. So guys, it's the next day here, and this is the hardware. This was the bolt that was holding on the front motor mount. So it's two inches longer right here, so you see how it's not an all thread. It would work if it's an all thread, but we're gonna head to the hardware store, go get uh, pretty much the same bolt, but two inches shorter. And I was starting to grind down this case cover right here to make it flat, but I realized, I was like, I don't know, like if this is even worth my time. So I just ordered a new case cover for it, and then I ordered um, one for this side because I ordered one off of eBay, and I paid like 30 bucks. I paid really cheap for this. But this right here is um, all the way through. So this thing's pretty much worthless to me. So in my order, I just did two brand new case covers. I was thinking about doing the clear case cover on this bike, but it might look a little cheesy because this is already the Brett sole and then stick out. And then Hudson told me, it looks cheesy, so I was like, all right, whatever. I thought it was kind of cool, but with the OEM clutch basket and whatnot inside there, not gonna look cool. But uh, let's head to the hardware store, get this uh, all put together. Oh, I also strapped these plastics on since last time, if you didn't notice. All right, we're back here right now. Got the hardware. I'm going to pull these side fairings off, and I'm going to mount them back up with this. But I'm definitely going to mock up these side belly fairings, make sure they're 100%, and then go over the rest of the stuff. I need to still put these uh, grips and levers on. So I guess I'll do that once I mount up these motor mounts, and then the side plastics.
All right, we got all those on right there. Motor's all good. You guys gotta remember, when you're putting on new fairings on a bike, always leave this whole front end loose because uh, when, it cr when you crash them, if you still have that front stay bracket on it, it'll readjust and then it, the fairings won't wanna line up properly. You always leave that loose, mount everything up, have all those holes lined up properly, then tighten down the front stay. All right, I got these things all mounted up good. That looks pretty solid, everything lines up very nice. Now it's time to just tighten down this front bracket right here. Since uh, you can see these gaps, they're all solid on it. And then I'm gonna cut off these grips, take off these levers. I got new ones sitting over here. I'm gonna go slap those things on. So I got these on there, brand new uh, levers, brand new grips on it. So what I'm waiting for now is gonna be the case covers and in the meantime, I'm gonna pull it apart, figure out what's going on with it shifting. So next video, I'll be getting to putting on the rear set, case covers, wiring up those turn signals, and then I'll get to ride this bike, go on the GoPro and do that little moto vlogging. But talk about moto vlogging, I got something to tell you guys, but let's do it on the GoPro. And we are here on the GoPro. So today I'm going to be riding the 2013 CVR 600 RR. And yeah, this is the bike I bought from Atlanta on Coparts. Uh, I rebuilt it and whatnot. So let's take this thing for a little bit of a spin. I've rode this bike a decent little bit since I've had it so far. I think I've put like, I don't know, a couple hundred miles on it. Big fan of these bikes. Really like the CVR 600s. Anything from 03 and newer on these 600s, I just absolutely love everything about these bikes. So let's get into talking about this bike a little bit. So it's 2013 CBR 600 Double R. Um, Honda really has not changed their 600s in a really long time. So this bike since 03, it's been mechanically pretty much the same thing up until about, I think 2018. This bike actually looks like the 2017-2018. I put the red fairings on it. Uh, the body style has stayed the same since 2013, but um, they made them red like this with the white on it in 17-18 uh, to make it look a little bit newer. Um, I really like the way this bike fits and it feels. I am six foot, 190 pounds, and it fits me like a glove. Uh, I feel like this fits me better than any 1000 I've ever rode. And it has plenty of power. Roads are pretty wet right now, so I really can't get on it too much. It's been quite an issue trying to get any type of content of me riding with the way the weather is because I really don't like riding early in the morning because that's when everybody's like heading to work and stuff. Not trying to be on the roads then. And then in the evenings, it is always raining. What I wanted to tell you guys on the GoPro was that there is hopes that I will be able to get this merch out by uh, sometime this week coming up. I'm going to drop four different shirts, two different hoodies, a hat, and then a lanyard that like the short little lanyards that go on your keychains for bikes. It'll just say BFTB. So um, hopefully all that stuff comes out this week. I'm really hyped about it. I'm um, not going to make it like other things that are just kind of like really promoting the channel. I'm trying to make it look cool where like people want to wear it. So hopefully that gets all done and I get to get that out this week and then next week we'll be uploading um, that R1 video. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. End this with the, you know, the bike ride and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace out.